All right, welcome to Araton Empire, see your Gitan boy Prince P. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching me from. And this is another episode of the Hajis. I know how we do right here. We dissect, we intercept, and we deliberate on trending issues, trending topics, controversies, and we give you factual analysis on politics, entertainment, show-based updates, and things happening around you. And guys, we have a lot to talk about in this episode. We'll be talking about matters arising in Ghana and in Nigeria. Ghanaian youths, they have taken to the streets to protest again for bad governance. I'll be giving you all the answers and all the includings. And also, we'll be talking about whiskey, Tinibu, Pito, B, Mwike. We have a lot to talk about. Just stay tuned, stay glued. Hush Puppy has finally been sentenced. I'll be giving you all the answers and all the includings. But before we dodge in, please subscribe. Click the notification button and don't forget to like, comment, share with your friends so that you can stay updated anytime, any day I upload. Always remember, this is the only channel that delivers the gist to you. Very hot and spicy. Just stay tuned. Alright, still on matters arising now. Let's talk about Pastor Suleiman. Actually, this, this is the episode 2 of today's gist. And please, if you haven't watched the episode 1 of today's gist, go to my description, then you can follow up with today's updates. Quickly, let's talk about Pastor Suleiman. Pastor Suleiman has come out to mock Nigerian government. That is the way I see it. I don't see him mocking Nigerian currency. I see him mocking Nigerian government. He came out and he posted on his social media handle, making it known that 100 Naira, making it known that 1,000 Naira was supposed to be $100, equivalent to $100. But right now, it's not the same. Because of the kind of situation, because of the kind of system, because of the kind of failed leaders we find ourselves into. If I talk now, they look like I just carry the talk. Let me read what he said. Listen. And someone, he posted 1,000 Naira notes and also 100 notes. And then this is what he wrote. And someone still believes in two heads is better than one. And someone still believes that two heads is better than one. He just threw it. If you get sense, you will understand it. He posted the currencies and he made that reference. Making us to understand that, see, it's not all about 1,000 Naira. It's not all about having huge notes. It's all about the competency. It's all about the government, how they are willing to make the system work. 1,000 Naira can't even go close to $100. It's not close to $100. If you're talking about 1,000 Naira, you should be talking about $1. It's very sad. This is the place we find ourselves. And I don't blame Pastor Suleiman to come out and mock our currency. I don't blame him because it is what it is. We can't deny it. That is it. Quickly, let's talk about Hush Puppy. Hush Puppy has finally been sentenced. You know, be easy. Hush Puppy, the former big boy, Instagram megastar, Dubai rich boy, present FBI prisoner. You see, say, this life no balance, so... This life, no balance. Hush Puppy has finally been slammed with 11 years imprisonment. 11 years. Ha! Ah. If, someone, if someone comes and tells Hush Puppy that he will be in prison, chilling in prison, 11 years. Guys, you know, be, you know, be small. As in, they have reduced his sentence uh, now 11 years. This life, no balance. That's why you need to leave a good legacy. For how many years he has been going to court, going to court, they don't even count that one. No. That one is a wasted years. Now his main year is counting. His main prison times is counting. 
And he <laughs> and this one will be sad though. It's very, very sad. You see, this life is not balanced. That's why whatever you do, make sure that you balance the equation. Be straight. You know, they cut short because you'll cut your life short. Stop cutting, stop cutting corners. If you want to cut your life short, cut corners. Look at it. I quite remember when Hush Puppy was still Hush Puppy. Ha! Huh? Hush Puppy was boiling. Boiling. Instagram mega to pasta. Nobody will know no hush puppy. In fact, even ladies they were using hush puppy as their prayer point. Heavenly Father, allow me to locate my hush puppy. Make me to locate my hush puppy. They have been using it for prayer point, but recently now, no one wants to hear about hush puppy. Hush puppy has went from everyone's choice to nobody's choice. Now. If you talk about hush puppy, you talk about prison. You, you talk about FBI. Now, ladies, now that they use hush puppy to advise their boyfriends. If anything, anything you they do, make sure you didn't end up like hush puppy. <laughs> I heard it one day. Laugh, no grimy. I heard it one day. Laugh. I, I, I was cracking out. But it's very sad. It's very sad. Well, quickly, let's dive into matters arising in Tinubu's camp. Hmm. Listen, as far as we still have stomach infrastructures in Nigeria, we are far from getting better. We are far from getting better. That's why I keep on saying it that you see this change we are talking about in Nigeria. You go hard though. It go hard though. Because the more we are shouting for change, the more other people are sitting there, emptying their stomach to swallow their conscience, to swallow their future, to swallow. Why am I saying this? Nollywood actors, they have gone to endorse Tinibu because Tinibu has ordained them. Nollywood actors, they are in and you know be small you know be small there are many many even i was even surprised to to see destiny itiko there stomach infrastructures stomach infrastructures this these politicians they know that the celebrities they have fans they have followers on social media so if they can get those supporters they can also get more votes from them you see we are not looking at credibility we are looking at <sighs> sometimes when you want to talk about the things that is happening it will just totalize you because you don't know who to talk you don't know if you should even blame the people or you will blame the leaders because the people are even the one fueling all this incompetency fueling all this disaster tell me now ladies and gentlemen if the politician buys your vote today tomorrow do you have any right to come and hold them responsible for not delivering well for a failed system how how are you going to come out and hold them responsible some people are not thinking some people are not thinking. It'd be sad, though. It'd be sad. But that is where we find ourselves. So quickly, let's talk about matters arising in Pito B's camp. So quickly, let's talk about matters arising in Pito B's camp. Pito B has come out to clarify that among all these presidential candidates that have come out, that he is the only person that have gone to genuine school, that went to a good standard school. So if anyone is overqualified, it should be him. That assistance now, overqualification, the word here. Overqualification, the intoxicator. So we should better vote for him, that he is qualified enough to lead Nigeria to our destination. He has the 
capacity. He has the standard education to lead Nigeria to our destination. Hmm. See, let's be sincere. Peter, what we really need from you, you know, be that your education. What we need from you is good delivery. We need to hear that you are capable enough to, to bring us out of this mess. Because Nigeria now day in a lot of mess. Honestly. I have seen someone that went to Cambridge to Harvard and still come out messlessly. Still come out jobless. Still failed. I have seen. So actually it's not about your education no. I'm not saying that education is not good. Yes, your education is good. But it has to do with your mind. Your mind and your conscience. It has to do with a lot. More than being educated. You have to have that mind of delivery. You have to be determined to bring Nigerians out of it. You need to have our interests at heart. That is the truth. So it's not about you being educated here. Although he, he still came out and made some valuable points on how he's going to deliver when he's elected. And guys, honestly speaking, in this election, I know they campaign for anybody, but we need to watch carefully. Watch carefully by their action. You will know they want to vote for. Make we get sense before it's too late. May we? All right, quickly, let's talk about Davido and Joma. More stories are still developing. More stories are still coming out. Honestly, I still feel that pain of Ifani's loss. I still feel it. But like I said before, we need to get over it because it has happened. But most stories are still coming out. And the one that came out now is that the autopsy is out. The police, they have come out to announce that the autopsy is out. And the reason of Ifani's death is that he was drowned. But honestly speaking, the, the, the report still they shocked me. Because I wasn't expecting this report. This autopsy report, how can... We already know that Ifani was drowned. We know he was found in the pool. So basically, he was drowned. So why you know they bring this autopsy report again? Something that we know again. I was expecting something more. Adi, what is this? What I'm asking is, how did Ifani went to that pool? What happened? Where is the CCTV footage? What really transpired? How come Ifani was found in the pool? People are coming here to tell us that he was drowned. This is not what I was expecting. Please, do proper investigation and bring out the perpetrators. Because, like I keep saying, this thing is, is deep. It's not just a mere coincidence. Nah. Something really happened. And we are eager to find out what happened. Let investigations be carried out. Because you can't tell me, oh, he went to the pool and he was drowned. And then, this is not what I want to hear. Please, we need a proper justice in this situation. Because if people cannot sweep it under the carpet. We need to get to the root of this thing. We already know that he was drawn. Now we need to know more about it. May we? Alright guys, so that will be on today's episode. I know how we do right here. Just stay tuned, stay glued because I'm coming back with another interesting, innovating, captivating, everything. The next gist, eh? Very funny, controversial, and hot. Just stay tuned, stay glued, but please, subscribe subscribe click the notification button and don't forget like comment share with your friends so that you can stay updated anytime any day i upload 
And always remember, this is the only channel that delivers the gist. Very hot and spicy. Thanks for watching. God bless.